welcome back to Back to Therapy, where we're having a very rousing, very enlightening experience between Emmett Brown and his father, where they're really, they're really making a connection, they're really bonding, and I'm gonna stop whispering into the fucking microphone and get on with this fucking game. <laughs> Emmett? It, okay, that was a really short Emmett, okay. Uh, it might seem impossible, but it's not, and uh, okay, here we go. He says you get your stubbornness from your mother. Well, I think that was the only the limit. <laughs> He's not satisfied with insulting me. He's got to drag my mother through the dirt too. Your mother was a hamster like and your me. father smelt. Gentle and sweet and endlessly patient. <laughs> if anything, I'm more like just oh, skip it. You're more like what? You were starting to say that you're like skip it. No. It be that you and your dad? No. Next subject. <laughs> Damn it. Stop being a dope. You've got your pride, okay, I, I get it. And so does he, but what's the harm in trying to make peace with the guy? He's your family, and family's important. Sometimes <laughs> it's, well, even more important than we realize. May I come up? Come on. Hug it out. So, you think my new invention is a disaster waiting to happen? I mean, yeah, yes, but that's yes, the best part about it. And I'm here to say, if any son of mine is going to make of himself a public disaster, I insist on being there to support him. Aww. Aww. You're gonna change your tune once you see this baby go airborne. You see, the force field generated by the static accumulator. Marty, give Trixie the signal. We're ready for liftoff. <laughs> Thank God you just cut off your fucking techno jargon. Oh, good. Here we Ladies go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for bearing with us through that unavoidable delay. <laughs> and now the hill I wonder if everybody could just hear the Please fighting it. Punch to present Mr. Emmett Brown and his electrokinetic levitator. This is going to be uh, a trip. Let's see how this works. Oh boy. Well, rest in peace. <gasps> that sound mixing is so bad I could barely hear him. <laughs> These are the moments I live for. That and explosions. Also, wait, what the hell? Okay, something's going on upstairs. Uh oh, something's going on it. That didn't sound good. Hey, hey, stop! Get back here! Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait, Edna doesn't know how to use the time machine. Does she? Does okay. she? I thought I could change her. Things could be different. Yeah. You thought wrong. Forget about it. Come on. We gotta find a way to stop her before. No, don't come any closer. Stop! Go away! But... Move! Move! Buddy! Oh shh! Oh shit. That oh god. Oh my god. Duck. Say something. Chromium, lithium, potassium, iridium, titanium. Uh I'll get, I'll get help. Okay. What does that have to do with anything? Newspaper. What? You mean There we go. It changed to a good headline. Oh my God. Hospital doctor. Okay, what the hell's going on in there? It's making it sound like, like fucking Emmett is making is mutating everybody inside. I am going to be okay, Marty. No, come on, Doc. Doc, don't do this. Don't go. Okay, that was incredibly sad, but also kind of. Oh boy. Come back. Oh. That went. Well, that did something. 
attack. Oh my god. <laughs> Marty, have you been out oh, here nice the hair. whole time? Damn it. Um, is it over already? Yeah. Oh, it's over, all right. You missed a very <laughs> wild party. <laughs> I'm afraid I've been banned from the expo for the next 50 years. <laughs> and if I were you, I wouldn't go back in either. At least not until all the broken glass is swept up. Oh, my God. Oh, what was I thinking? Naturally, the ionic wind generated by an electromagnet of that size is... My God. ...with a merely mechanical steering mechanism. We need a much more advanced control system. Even he, he just destroyed an entire expo, and he's still like, I could do this better. <laughs> one might be able to direct the ionic current simply by shifting one's weight. Oh, great Scott, that's it. I get it. No, I don't. Uh, what comes next? So, uh, what comes next? Work, work, and more work. Yeah. A few more stumbles, followed by a breakthrough or two. <laughs> the way I see it, it's those little mistakes along the way that advance us along the pathway of knowledge. Also, Come on, there's no time to lose. Let's get back to the lab and. Hmm. I'm sorry. Is something wrong? Uh, no. Oh, well, kind. Of... Mm. No, nothing's wrong. I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. You can see right through me. Sound fine. Don't worry about it. It's got nothing to do with you. Well, it kind of does, just in a really roundabout, paradoxical kind of way. Mystery to me, Marty. But where you come from, what you're doing here. But there's one thing I do know. Whatever it is, it does have something to do with me. Uh, please, Emmett. Don't ask What's any. What's this? Come on, let me see. I deserve an explanation. You do, but uh Okay, here it goes. Okay. I'm from the future. <laughs> What's that? An explanation. But you've gotta promise me, don't look at it until you get the key to the city. Huh? <laughs> Damn it. Just promise. Son. I'll be right there, Pop. Key to the city? I don't understand. And you can't understand. Not for a long time. It would do irreparable damage to <laughs> something. Just just say you promise. <laughs> okay, I promise. Wait. I will see you again, right? I guarantee it. <laughs> Damn it! Aww. Man, this is just... I don't think I said anything during that entire goddamn cutscene. I am so sorry, everyone. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, it time traveled. It... I'm... Wait, hold on, wait. Edna ran away with the DeLorean. So, who's in the DeLorean hey, right what? now? Wait, what? How? I'm sorry, does somebody want to explain this to me so now? You were the same Marty. Funny how memory can play tricks on a person. I remembered you being much taller. Z how was the ceremony? Long. Oh my god. You've got a theatrical way of sending messages. <laughs> the only way I could do it without messing up your timeline. Very clever. But what are you doing in 1931? A uh, long, long explanation. Came to rescue you, came to restore your path. Came to stop you from mer Yeah, restore your path. Here we go. I came to make That's sure the truth. You stayed in the path of science. As opposed to what? The dog food business? You really don't want to know. Politics. Oh, yeah. Politics? That doesn't sound like me. No, it, it doesn't. Never mind, it's better I don't know. Let's just get back to 1986. That is, unless your presence has caused I mean, this <laughs> time anomalies. I can't imagine I any way well, that a time anomaly... I'm still a little confused about my... Hey. 
Hi, who are Where you? Where is he? Where is that no good son of mine? He's not worthy of the McFly name. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here he you is. Is my Artie anywhere? <laughs> Artie McFly? That's the one. Just got a call from Melvin at the city records office. He tells me the dad blamed fool's gun and got himself hitched to a Canadian floozy. Can you believe it? Sitched? Secrets Mary. out. Secrets out. I swear. That boy's gonna put his pop on the nose. <laughs> and here is the so Michael J. Fox back. cameo. <laughs> ah, he, he's married the wrong grandma. I mean, Trixie's not my grandma. And if she's not my grandma, I'm not me. <laughs> Wait, that was great grandpa Willie. I met him when he was a baby. He peed on me. <laughs> yeah, try uh, explaining Holy crap, that. Doc, I'm gonna disappear again. You don't look like you're about Come to disappear. Now, Marty. You seem reasonably solid right now. Whatever the problem is, I'm sure we can undo it with the help of that car. Uh oh. Oh great. Oh, this is getting complicated now. How the hell did she get back here? She oh yeah, because she took the fucking DeLorean. She you? You're not Edna. What's going on here? Is this some plot to put me in the nut house? No, it, I it's swear not to God, very it isn't. Simple, Danny. Oh, I'm sure it is. Tell me, did I or did I not just chase Edna Strickland off in this car? You did? Not this exact car, but a car just like it. A car with a nasty habit of disappearing into thin air? Well, she. Wait, Edna what? Strickland just disappeared in the DeLorean? If that's what you call it, it made a loud noise, and then wham! Nothing! Uh oh, right, Scott. Oh, that's. Uh. Marty, do you have any notion what date she might have jumped to? None at all, Doc. See, that DeLorean's time circuits are out of whack. They could jump to any date at all. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Oh, crap. Let's just hope she jumped into the future. The far future. Yeah, because that's totally she where she went. Into the past. You think she might mess up the time stream? Wait a minute. This is Edna. Of course she would mess up the time stream. Oh, crap. Uh, guys, you mind telling me what the hell you're... Uh, wait, what? Uh -oh. Wait, what? What's going on? What the fuck did Edna just do? What the fuck did Edna just do? What the did fuck? we just leave Hill Valley? No, I believe Hill Valley just left us. How? Something I don't know, but to it. apparently Hill Valley used to be occupied with a lot of the same bush. Also, this fucker's still here. What the hell? <laughs> they just really wanted to milk their fucking. Well, now you two look at my lost. Hey, what on earth is that thing? Oh, Time machine out of a DeLorean. A metal vehicle. Pay it no mind. Look, maybe you can help us. Where's Hill Valley? We're looking for Hill Valley. Well, which is it? A hill or a valley? No, it's a town. It's a town called Hill Valley. Hill Valley a town? Say, I, I think I once heard that there was a town here a long time ago. Don't know much about it, though. Just as I suspected. Oh, boy. Uh, what happened to Hill Valley? What happened to Hill Valley? Oh, heck, I don't know. That was all before I was born. Then, whatever it was, must have happened at least... 45 years ago. <gasps> Nobody much cares to settle around here nowadays. My dad tried to buy a farm in this area years ago, but he got run off by Scary Mary. Scary Mary? I wonder who that could be. Her. Lives a couple miles from here. I make a monthly drop at her place. She's a fiend for news. Takes all the papers in the county, never throws one away. Oh, See, boy. anybody can tell you what happened to Hill Valley, it's her. Can you direct us to her? It's imperative that we talk to her. Sorry, fellas, but I'm pretty sure she won't talk to you. Uh, can you make her talk? Could you help us with her? The thing of it is, guys, Mary's older than dirt. But she's also a little touched, if you catch my drift. She doesn't like strangers. I'm sure we can handle her. I'm pretty sure she'll we'll recognize us. Please, we gotta see her. Well, okay, if you insist. Take a right turn just after the bridge, then follow the wheel ruts till they come to an end. You'll have to go the last quarter mile on foot. Good luck, and don't say I didn't warn you. I got a notion I'll be checking myself for sending you up there. Thanks, Michael J. Fox. Your check's in the mail. Can 
I drive? Uh, oh, for fuck's sake, Marty. <laughs> Does it really fucking matter? You're driving on a dirt road and you're walking up to the house anyways. Oh, boy. Beware of cat. Wipe your feet. Uh -huh. Mary Pickford. Hmm. It's the, whoa. Well, now we know who lives here. Is that the DeLorean door hanging on a string? What the fuck? Wipe your oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> God damn it, Edna just she just keeps getting the raw end of every single day. I know there's a trip wire here. Uh, I have to walk through the trip wire, don't I? Oh no, I didn't see the trip wire. Uh. Step away from the cabin! <gasps> Pardon us for intruding, madam. We were wondering if you could tell us. I don't talk to hooligans. Not a very friendly sort. That, uh. that was Edna. Edna Strickland? Impossible. You, it's this is how she was when I first met her. I had to. Listen, just leave it to me. Yeah. Okay, you think you know how to handle her. Just remember, we need to know Wait. what happened to Hill Valley, and just as importantly, the precise time when it happened. Wait a minute. Oh, for fuck's sake. Don't tell me I have to literally do all the same puzzles as from the first fucking episode. It's a... <laughs> oh my god, is that like a fucking western-y, like, banjo version of the Back to the Future theme? That's fucking hilarious. I wonder what's cooking. Uh, let's find out. Uh, pick up the burning stick and stick it in your pocket. Uh, what do I want to set how, fire to? The outhouse. Here we go. I guess this isn't the right time to be burning things. Ouch! All right. What else can I do? Uh, window. Can I look inside the window? Edna's grandfather, Marshall Strickland. That's she... the same picture I saw in Edna's apartment way back in the future. How'd she get a? How'd she get the picture? Is she literally? Uh, I'm not even gonna fucking question it. Saloon sign. An old saloon sign. Cool. Too bad it's all burnt. Do I have the saloon sign on me? I do. Here, let me try waving that at the window or. Or just I don't know. Oh, now I can't walk through the tripwire, or I can. I don't think so. Here, uh, just touch the tripwire. There we go. I oh, you put the fucking license plate up there too. That's just irritating. Hey, Miss Strick, who are you? Uh, Michael Corleone. Michael Corleone. That's a foolish name, and I make it a rule not to talk to strangers with foolish names. Uh, We're not strangers. How do I know you? I'm my. Uh, you. you I mean, you she did all of those. Once, a long time ago. Remember? Listen, Sonny. No, oh my an God. I'm going woman, but I got a few rules I live by. Oh boy. And rule number one is I never, ever talk about the past or the future, neither. I don't talk about any day but today. Uh, I guess that didn't go so well. Of course she doesn't talk about the past, because there's something in her past she's trying to forget. But we're gonna pry it out of her. So knock on the door again. Yeah, well, by knock on the door, you mean fucking activate the tripwire again. Well, let's see if I can pry it out of her this time. Frisbee's pies. I get the joke. It's me again, your old friend. How do I know you? Well, if it's not, uh, you interviewed me once, saved life once. We spent today together. Here we go. We spent the day together. We did? Where? At the expo. That's crazy. I've been here all. What day is it? Tuesday, October 13th, 1931. October 13th, 1931. October 13th. Something I mean, today is the day of the expo. Well, what are you here for? 
Uh, I brought something for you. I brought something for you. What is it? Let me see. Do you have a shoe? <laughs> oh, she's out here now, so now I can show her shit. Um, let's show her the saloon sign, because that's all I got to pick I up. I brought you this. Already got one. Fuck. Uh, burnt out Del Can I pick up the entire DeLorean? That would be really funny if I could. Uh, that is. Need to see it like this. That's a really sad sight. I'm not gonna lie. Blacksmith sign. A blacksmith sign. I wonder if it's from Doc's old shop. I wonder if it was just in the trunk. That'd be hilarious. Uh, boy. Uh, burnt out Florian outhouse. No. What's the button? Wait, does the keyboard have, like, a button that I can just use to, like, check what all the, uh, touchable items are? I ain't got all day! Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, um, mop. I can give her a cactus. I can, is there anything that I have that I can give her? I can give her a ticket? I don't, uh, I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna think, I'm gonna think this through. And next time on Back to the Future, I'm going to figure out what I need to give her. Alright, see you guys next time, everybody.